Hi guys, uh, this is Michael on the Range channel again. So, uh, I built a PC. I want to try YouTube gaming. I always want to uh, try it for the past like four years. I did a small clip of YouTube videos, but was on a low powered laptop many years ago. So, uh, I built the machine finally, but no video card yet. The video card slot is lonely. So, I'm waiting on that uh, for now. It has embedded graphics in the GPU, so, I mean in the CPU. So the CPU is uh, NVIDIA, uh, so, sorry, <laughs> NVIDIA. Uh, it's Intel, my mind was thinking about something else. So it's Intel and it's uh, i5. One zero four zero zero chip, and it has uh, embedded graphics, and those embedded graphics are uh, UHD graphics six thirty, and uh, they can game at seven twenty p low, and uh, this it has a uh, water cooling, so I can overclock it, and it can do like. Dark Souls uh, 1, 2, and 3, and uh, it kind of like fluctuates between 30 and uh, 60 frames a second, so it's it's all right uh, at 720p. So uh, now let's talk about, uh, so that uh, has, so on here, just a um, little bit more information, six cores, 12 threads, uh, 2.9 gigahertz to uh, 4.3. So with this war cooling, I'm getting pretty good with the gigahertz. Uh, it's like, I can overclock it to oh, probably all the way, but I just try and keep it to like, uh, you know, like a 3.9 or something. I don't want to wear out the stuff. Um, if you overclock it too much, you can burn out your stuff, so even though it's being cooled properly. So the motherboard, I was thinking I should have probably gone with something bigger, but I went with a small motherboard. It was affordable for all the features that it had basically. So it's a small one, as you can see. It has just one video card slot. Okay, one video card slot. Uh, four hookups for your hard drives. And then two more, one to M.2 drive. And then there's another M.2 drive actually on the back of the motherboard. So that'd be in and around behind the case. So if I pop off the back panel, I can actually pull on another uh, M.2 drive. And the first one goes right here. So uh, yeah, so uh, that's good. You can have up to six hard drives in here and uh, the motherboard also takes, you know, the normal uh, power, but it has more 8-pin power up in the top. So if I show you on the box here, the 8-pin power here, that I actually had to get an adapter for the power supply so it could go into the 8-pin adapter. So make sure your power supply has the 8-pin, otherwise the motherboard won't work. Uh, so... Yeah, it, the motherboard, if you want to look it up, is the ROG Strix 4, sorry, H4 seven zero uh, slash one uh, gaming. So uh, yeah, it's a good motherboard. I do have one glitch. And I don't know if it's the CPU or the motherboard. And uh, basically what they're saying is that the, uh, I'll show you when it's booted up. Basically it's saying that the CPU doesn't have enough resources for the hyper threading, but I think it's more of a software thing. It, it cannot, I don't think it'd be a hardware thing. So I'll show you that uh, when the computer is booted up, just so you know what I'm talking about. Um, the motherboard has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth uh, 5.0, so I, I liked that. 
you know, uh, let's go around back so you can see the connections for the motherboard. So uh, it has HDMI display port, uh, four USB 3s, a couple USB C's. This one's for sound. Um, five, <laughs> excuse me, guys. A uh, five point surround sound. Um, two Ethernet ports. And uh, yeah, the display port. And I think this one has extra power for your, uh, like if you want to charge your phone faster or something, but I'm not sure. So uh, that's Wi Fi 6. Uh, the, I don't have Wi-Fi 6, but it's compatible with my older uh, router. And it was a nice boost from my laptop that was slower. So I can definitely see the difference even though I didn't upgrade the router. So um, next let's talk about uh, the RAM. So it was 16 gigs of uh, a RAM that was done by uh, the RAM was done by uh, G Skill Rip uh, Jaws and 16 gigs of DDR4 at uh, 2666 megahertz. And the reason why I chose that number of megahertz was the core said the maximum amount that it supports was 2066. So this core, I don't know if it can go beyond that, but it said that that, that was the one that it recommended. So I went with the map, with the fastest that this core recommended. So, um, and that was still affordable, you know? So uh, I'll go through some of the pricing. So this is from Canada Computers and I am Canadian. So your prices might vary from where you are. So, uh, this core was one of the more affordable cores and you can get it uh, without graphics for $40 cheaper right now in Canada computers. So if you don't want the graphics, you can save 40 bucks. Uh, it was 219 and uh, 99 uh, cents for the uh, core. So that's like, I guess you could say 220 and then for the motherboard it was 219 okay uh just so you get idea of the pricing and i could have uh gone for something that maybe was a bit better but that's already getting up there for me for the prices for uh, a motherboard and um then for the memory it was uh for the 16 gigs, it was, uh, I guess if I rounded it, it's 115. So it was $115 for the 16 gigs, which isn't bad, you know. There's, uh, this is low latency RAM, so it's 15, 15, 15, 35. So that has to do with the timings. So with the embedded graphics, if you have slower timings, you feel more lag with the game. So you gotta be more careful with your timings if you're going to be using embedded graphics. If you have a video card, it's not as important, guys. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I went with this RAM. It was a little bit more expensive, but not that much. Uh, okay, let's talk a little bit about the M.2 drive. I went with uh, a data M.2 drive in there, and it's right up here, as I mentioned before. Uh, so that's a data M.2 drive. It's pretty fast uh, compared to Air M.2 drives. I looked around and it's the same. The reason why I went with a data was because I had one of these as a normal like laptop form factor, a 2.5 inch in my um, laptop. And that one has been running for over four years, that uh, solid state drive. So I'm happy with it. I haven't had any problems. Uh, so I went with a one terabyte M.2 drive and it actually didn't cost anything extra. So uh, if I was comparing this to like a SATA, uh, e-SATA, a hard drive, they'd be slower 
uh, depending on which ones you buy. And it wasn't any more expensive to go with this one. So if your motherboard supports M.2, take it. And uh, in some cases, it may not cost you anything more. And because of that, this computer boots up very fast. Like uh, compared to my laptop that has a solid state drive, that's from exactly the same company. Uh, it boots up like over four times faster than that one. So I could do a laptop comparison and do like a boot uh, comparison. So you'd be comparing two solid state drives from the same company and like their boot times. Uh, I'll try to show that. And then for the water cooling, I was thinking of going air, but I went water because uh, even though it was hard, it was a nightmare to fit in this case, actually, guys, the water cooling. So with the water cooling, it was uh, so difficult to fit it that I had to take the side plate off the motherboard. So you know how in the picture here with the motherboard, just give me a second. Guys. So in the picture, it has the side plate. Now... This is just plastic. This part's metal over here, and this part's metal. So this part, I took off just two screws, you know? So uh, the uh, if you go back in here, the, the metal is uh, showing. So if you go back around and underneath, you can see that the, the ports are showing over here and stuff. So it's fine for the motherboard. It's nothing not a big deal it's just aesthetics and that cardboard is there to help with cooling it redirects the fan um so yeah uh i had to take that back plate off to get more clearance up here to put in the water cooling and the water cooling just barely fit you guys so uh this case is uh fractal 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 uh, designed case and it's uh, the G type so the fractal cases they're all right there there was a few problems I would say uh, the fractal uh, my recommendation make this thing half inch higher like come on guys because to get this thing in here there was no clearance between the motherboard and here so and you guys say that it fits and it does fit but I had to do motherboard modifications. Now, I didn't have to do any cutting. And I'm glad Asus only had two screws and they didn't have any clips. So it's just two screws, take off this bla uh, plastic. But if it's all metal for you guys, you're going to have a problem. So uh, keep that in mind with this case. If you want one water cooling, it may, it may not fit with your motherboard. So... Uh, you have to keep all your paperwork and be ready to return if you can't get it in there, um, basically. So, uh, or they don't even have to make the case any uh, taller. They could just take out one of these slots and bring the mounting for the motherboard down. You know, who, who's going to run uh, more than two video cards in SLI? You know, so I think they have this set up so maybe you could run like three or more, but it's just like, Who's going to do that? You know, it must be two video cards. So uh, th that's a minor gripe. I got in there. It's working. Uh, this water cooling was done by uh, Deep Cool. And this water cooling is uh, really well done, guys. It's uh, affordable. This unit was only uh, $80, basically. It's $79.99. Uh, uh, so... This was tricky to put together, but with their instructions, it was nice. So uh, you guys won't see it because it's not plugged in, but it lights up red. Uh, you, I'll show you guys that later. They have it in many colors. Excuse me. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's a dual fan radiator and uh, it keeps my CPU very cool. I am in the range of uh, 29 Celsius uh, so uh, and that's idle 
So, but even when I'm gaming, it doesn't get that hot and then I overclock it. So that, that's nice. It really, I think it's meant for even more powerful cores. The good thing with this one is it's a 65 watt C, uh, CPU. So it doesn't pull that much power. So this power supply, I'm going, I'm planning not to upgrade it. This is an old power supply and it's 430 watts. And if I get NVIDIA graphics um, for this system, some of the NVIDIA graphics cards recommend only a 300 watt power supply. AMD, it might be a little bit harder if I go for AMD. So I don't know which video card I'm going to get. Some of the AMD uh, like, uh, GPUs recommend that you have like a 450 watt power supply. So uh, for, so yeah, this takes 65 watts and it's a very powerful uh, GPU. So uh, if you are trying to run a system on lower spec power supply, uh, this might be a good thing to pick up uh, as another thing. And then I have a mechanical three terabyte hard drive down here, guys. Uh, old disk drive, haven't got it up and running yet. The connections are different. I'm ordering an adapter for it. Uh, some of my old games are still disc, so uh, that's another reason why I went with this case. It has a disc drive. So I know some people are moving away from the uh, like physical media, but uh, I want a system that could still take it. So this was one of the better systems out there that could still take it. So a lot of the other ones that took disc drives looked ugly, so I went with this one. So it was hard to put the water cooling, like I said, but it was um, pretty good uh, besides that. Now, one more thing, guys, before I uh, leave you for a minute and then uh, we'll come back and I'll do like a boot for you guys, a boot up and stuff like that and uh, some showing around in the system, is that this USB 3 connection uh, it's like a one-time use with this case and uh, this motherboard. For some reason, uh, my dad uh, was helping me with uh, connecting some of this stuff. And he wanted to just connect it and reroute the cable. So when he just connected, it, it pulled the, the backing of that uh, USB 3. So you can see it kind of in the picture. There is the plastic section on the USB 3, and then there's the pins. So what happened was the plastic ripped right off with the cable. Now, it's still working, guys. It's still live. We uh, put it back on very gently. But if you pull off that USB 3 cable, it pulls off the plastic with it, and then the pins are left. So this is like something that I feel is a shortcoming by the motherboard, guys. Uh, my SATA... It's perfect. It's a SATA connection. So my question to you motherboard manufacturers is why can't the USB 3 be like a SATA? You know, it's just, I just put a USB 3 right on the motherboard. It's so, uh, lots of builders have complained about this and they have broken and, uh, it's kind of partially broken, but it still works. I got my, all my front USB 3. Uh, it's working and it's fine, guys. So uh, th that was a, another minor gripe with this build. Um, but it's good. It doesn't consume much power. And I'll see how much power it consumes when it has a video card because it's not done yet. Uh, but that, that's uh, one, everything for the computer. Now, the last thing is uh, you guys might be thinking, okay, so... You spent all this money on computer, and then what do you do for the OS? Because I was looking at some of the pre-builds, and they are good, but the cooling sucks, and then you get like one stick of RAM. So it's just like, uh, what happens is, and the motherboard sucks too. So you have a motherboard that's far cheaper than the one that's here. So they'll spend like usually $100 on the motherboard, so the motherboard will suck, uh, the cooling will suck, and then you'll be having one stick of RAM. So you will have to, so you, in theory, if you want to run it better, you have to upgrade the motherboard, 
pop in another stick of RAM, and then pop in better cooling. So uh, you, if you get a pre-build, it's not always the best idea. So uh, how to make your build more affordable, um, instead of me buying Windows from Canada Computers, now from Canada Computers, just to give you a reference for Windows for this machine, it would have been like $120 uh, on sale from Canada Computers for Windows Home Edition. Uh, just kind of off the top of my head uh, there, guys. But uh, that's still expensive, you know? So that can that extra $100 uh, can go towards a video card. So what I did was some research, and some of the YouTubers were talking about uh, a website, and it's called SCD Key, uh, guys. I'll put it in the description. And it's not, this is not sponsored by them, but it worked, guys. SCD uh, is a website, and you can download Windows. I download Windows Home for $17 US. And I typed in a promo code from one of the YouTubers I watched that was a few months old, and it was done in 2020, that video. So I got 30% off. Uh, with that promo code from one of those guys. So if you look around, you can get the promo code and you can download from SCD key and then the, your Windows might be like 13 bucks US. So, and I got a global edition. So it works here in Canada just fine. And uh, it's, I guess you could say that's technically speaking, uh, maybe a, like a global US edition. So, uh, but still works in Canada. So. Anyways, that was a huge savings on the Windows uh, there, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back with it booted up. So there will be a part two to with this video. I'm going to do a boot thing, uh, show you that glitch. And then um, uh, that that's going on with this, the CPU. And uh, it's just so you guys can be aware of that if you are trying to do a similar sub to mine. And uh, that's it, guys. So... Uh, We'll be out with a part two. I know that was a bit long, but I was just uh, a little bit unorganized. So uh, yeah, we'll be back with a part two, guys. So see you later.